Hey guys, Melanie Rivet here. I've got eight video recording hacks that you can use for your iPhone so that you get really good video. So the first hack that I've got is look directly at your camera. When you're filming on your phone, you can see yourself on the screen, but if you look where the camera is, you're making eye contact with your audience as opposed to looking at yourself. When you're looking at yourself on the screen, you're not really connecting with your audience because you're looking at yourself. So whilst it's really tempting to see how you look, as long as you're sort of in the middle, make sure that you're making eye contact with the actual camera. Number two, lighting is key. I've actually got a ring light here at the moment. I'll turn it off. The difference between high quality video and mediocre is light. So I'll put it back on. How much better is a well lit frame? Now I've got a ring light. I've got a little kit that I take for when I'm on the go. And I have a big softy light so I can clip that onto my phone just to give a little bit of fill in light. Great for when it starts to get a bit dark and or you don't have natural light on you. But in all honesty, nothing beats natural light. I've got a window in my lounge room that I much prefer to stand in front of to film there because the natural light's amazing. I love filming outside. In natural light though, make sure that the sun isn't directly in your eyes because that's not a good look. Natural filtered light is so much better than artificial light, ring lights, that sort of thing. So if you've got a window with natural light, try and film there. Because I wanted this backdrop, I have to use a bit of artificial light. I have a window from over there, but to make my videos pack a little bit more punch, I do have to use the ring light here. I've also got some studio lights, which are LED lights that I use when I'm filming inside. A ring light is awesome though. Uh, there's other types. So I've got one that's on a big tripod and quite high. But I've also got smaller desktop ones. So there's plenty of different varieties and they all help with ensuring that you've got good quality light. All right, number three is angles. It's really important that you have a really good angle with your filming. So at the moment, my camera is probably about eye level. And the thing I love about this is that it's really nice for your neck. It's flattering. You find, I'm going to try this. All right, here we go. It's just not quite the same. You get all of this underneath your neck. It's not great. It's a lot better to have your camera at eye level or slightly above looking down is even better. So have really good angles, great lighting. And then we come to number four and that is good sound. Now I've got a little microphone here. I prefer to use a microphone because I can move around and you've got great sound. It's also great if you're outside and you've got background noise because the sound is directed to your microphone. And it's good too if you want to move back, move forward, that sort of thing. It just makes sure that your video sound is nice and clear and it's easy for people watching to hear you. If your sound isn't great, make sure you've got captions at least. Uh, a lot of people watch video on silent anyway. If we're talking about hacks to make your videos look better, sound is definitely another one. When you're doing a video, you want to keep it nice, straight to the point. Don't drone on. You don't want to bore people. If you plan out your content, you can use like a little sticky note. You put it on the side of your phone. No one knows it's there and it helps keep you on track. I've got a few things sort of stuck to my ring light that you wouldn't even know. And it just makes sure that I'm remembering what I'm talking about and that I don't go off track. Another hint for your videos, which we're talking about now is number six. If you're doing short form video for reels or TikToks, you might want to use the three second timer. I didn't bother with this video because I'm going to edit it so I can sort of stand and, you know, once I'm ready, I can get rid of the start. But for short form video, I would suggest you put the three or the 10 second timer on so that you can put it on, you get in your position, it counts down, and then you can start straight away. It just means there's less editing. So that's a really handy feature. All right, so we've got number seven. If you haven't got an area where you can do recording, then I'd suggest you use a background or a green screen. It does mean there's a bit more editing, but you want your background 
to be nice but not too distracting you also don't want to be blending into your background so you don't want to be like if i was wearing white here it would probably you know it'd sort of be blending in too much um, so you want a bit of interest but you don't want it to be too overpowering um, you also want to make sure that it's a nice background there's nothing worse than watching someone's video and you can see their dirty dishes in the background or their washing or something like that so if you want to make your videos of a higher caliber then have something nice in the background a nice backdrop a green screen with a fill-in picture something like that or you know a studio it just makes your videos look a lot higher quality and lastly number eight <laughs> is use a tripod I've got a few different options for you obviously I said I've got a ring light my camera's sitting in the tripod uh, between the ring light I found this little gadget on Amazon which is great for if you're out and about so there's a little button on the bottom and you press that so it's got this nice sturdy tripod the thing I love about this one is that it's got this telescopic tripod and so I can be filming it goes higher than that I can be filming and if I'm standing up it's pretty low I can put it on something and I can have it at the right angle but I can also use it on tabletops so my camera can be sitting on the table and I can have the camera set up either for landscape or for portrait. So that's great for TikToks and Reels, those sort of things. But if you're doing recording for Facebook or your website or for YouTube, you want to use that landscape format. Um, I'll put a little picture up there so you can see what I'm talking about. Having your camera nice and stable makes your videos easier to watch. When you're recording and you're holding it and it's camera shake and people are feeling seasick it's not pleasurable to watch so that would be my final tip use a tripod if you've got any suggestions or other handy hints that you use when you do your own recording pop them in the comments below uh, thanks so much for watching guys and check out some of my other videos on my channel um, i'm always trying to help my fellow entrepreneurs my women my ceo chicks uh, to do better at business and to be more confident online. See you guys.